Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to jump right into it. We're gonna get right back into painting a whole bunch of heads for the 100 painted heads challenge. I'm going to do a whopping six heads in this video, all in acrylic gouache. Though I do really want to do some more traditional gouache paintings, so you will see that in an upcoming video, I promise you. <laughs> So I feel like I've been so busy recently that I haven't been able to keep up with this challenge as much as I wanted to. I never actually set a time limit or anything for myself, but I think I always felt like I wanted to finish this in 2023. So I did the math and I have to do four heads every week for the rest of the year. And if I do that, I should be golden and I think it will be good for me learning-wise to do these heads sometimes when I don't feel like it and sometimes when I do, I really want to have fun and take risks. For me, the main point of this challenge was to improve my portraits by allowing myself to try new things and fail along the way. I never expected all of the portraits to be perfect, they certainly are not. If you are doing this challenge or a similar challenge, definitely keep that in mind. In this case, failure is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it means that we are learning what works, what doesn't work. We are taking in so much information every time we sit down to paint. We are just putting in those hours and working towards our artistic goals. So I did struggle with this first head, as you can probably tell, mostly with the values and the fact that the darker colors are so transparent, but I think I did eventually get my values under control. I just needed to have a greater range in the midtones. When I struggle with this sort of thing, I make myself go back to using a larger brush and I work up to the details again because I need a stronger foundation for the portrait. So we did end up working backwards a little bit, but that is okay. I'd like to take a quick moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, they are an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives. Skillshare not only has countless courses on illustration, drawing, painting, photography, and filmmaking, but they also have hundreds of career-focused classes as well. I have been wanting to grow my art business and find financial stability through my creative practice. A class on Skillshare that I have been taking that has completely changed the way I work for the better is Productivity for Artists Organizing Yourself for Success by Brooke Glazer. With this class, I am learning to be more organized with my time in a way that actually takes less effort and helps me avoid burnout, which is something I really struggled with recently. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So yes, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to painting. I am really happy that I decided to do this challenge, even though I am not close to the finish line yet. We are getting there, and I know if I keep at it, I can finish this before the end of the year. I think sharing 
this challenge and my progress with you guys is really keeping me accountable and I'm really looking forward to doing a 100 heads sketchbook tour and all of that is just motivating me to keep painting heads. I actually have noticed some improvements to my portraits. It's not entirely linear. I definitely have good days and bad painting days. But overall, looking at the newer portraits compared to the ones at the start of the book, I see me getting closer to some of my art goals for this challenge, and that feels really good and definitely also motivates me to keep going. One thing in particular that is very important to me in this challenge is that I make sure that I'm not afraid to fix something if I think it's not right. And I did do that with this portrait number three. I painted his ear and although it looked okay, I knew it wasn't right. So I painted over it and I was much happier with it the second time. I remember when I was earlier on in my art journey, I was a lot more fearful to cover things up or wipe things away. So in this challenge, I want to be very conscious of when I feel that I should try something again or when I should just leave it and move on. At the end of the day, these are just sketches, but they are sketches that I want to get something out of. I want to learn from them. This is a longer video, I hope you guys are okay with that. I asked people on my Instagram stories what length of video they preferred, and it seemed like most people preferred 15 minutes and plus. So yeah, I hope you enjoy, and maybe you can grab your sketchbook or a painting and we can work together. So I've been wanting to ask what you guys are thinking about the new social media app Threads. I did make a Threads and so far I am really liking it. I was never really on Twitter so I'm not very good at the whole text-based social media thing but I think I will get better and I'm hoping to share more sketches and works in progress and you know like random life stuff. If you are on threads, you can pop over and follow me if you want, and we can have some conversations over there.
Okay, here's a little intermission where I build a new shelf in my art studio. I bought a new IKEA shelf because I really wanted to see more of my supplies in my work area and I also needed a place for my art book collection because I didn't have those in this room and I wanted to be able to grab them for inspiration. Also, there's a little sneak peek for a future video on this shelf. I wonder if you can spot it. Okay, let's get back to doing some more heads. I don't know if that sort of thing is interesting or if I should just stick to the art making in these sort of videos, but yeah, I thought I would include it. So if you saw one of my more recent videos where I painted some portraits, or I guess drew some portraits with alcohol markers, I said in that video that I wanted to try and redo them in gouache on the other page because the sketchbook didn't really like the markers and I wasn't really able to layer as much as I wanted to and I thought it would be interesting. We can compare and contrast the portraits in the two different mediums. They're also really good references and I didn't want to waste them on, you know, not the best marker portraits. All of my 100 heads references are on a public Pinterest board, by the way. I will have it linked down below. I think there's like two portraits at the start of the 100 heads challenge that are not on the board. And that's just because I got them from an artist group reference chat and I don't want to be posting their pictures on Pinterest. Two out of a hundred, the rest are all on this board. And I also put more than 100 references in that board just so that we have, we have options. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And also a big thank you to my channel members. You guys are so wonderful. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you want to see when I post next. I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye-bye.